you know, very cool. So um, there's this thing called, you know, the color code that I've, I've heard about, and I, I'm by no means an expert on it. Right. Um, but can you, can you explain the color code and how you use it in your business? Absolutely. So the color code, I'm a licensed color code uh, trainer uh, through the Color Code International. The color code is a personality assessment, much like DISC or personality, uh, uh, you know, or Myers Briggs. Okay, yeah. Myers Briggs, yeah. Personality assessment where, you know, you you, you have different category, categories of people. And I, I've been attracted to this type of work. So for the last uh, several years, I've been a certified trainer. And mm-hmm. I use it in a couple of different ways. I, I do a webinar with a group of, of leaders. Maybe you think about a team, team building exercise where a team comes together, learns each other's strengths and opportunities, give the assessment before the webinar, uh, have a readout, and then we present them on the information on how they can better relate to each other, communicate with each other, and learn each other's style. And I've done that with several new teams as well. Very interesting pro- uh, prospect. But I also use it well as a part of my um, individual coaching as well. I'll kick off the relationship with the person by doing a color code assessment. What, uh, once again, we're going to have some looks at how other people view their leadership, but I want to see how they view their leadership. And the mm. unique part about a color code is that it uh, they ask you to, well, I like to say that the color code is not about behaviors, but it's about motive, right? Mm. Not about behaviors, but motive. Yeah. So behaviors about what you do, but motives about why you do it. Why? Okay. Yeah. And the difference is you can teach yourself how to do anything, right? I mean, if you, for enough money or for enough pressure, you'll learn to do what you need to do, right? Right. But, but, uh, but you'll always go back to who you are. And the color code looks at the motor. So, so Myers-Briggs, personalities, all the excellent tools, DISC, it's really about behaviors, how you act. But the color mm-hmm. code uh, is about uh, uh, who you are. And... The way they get to that is they ask you to take the color code, the assessment from the perspective of when you were a child. Now, everybody struggles with that a little bit, right? Like, <laughs> yeah. But I have 99% of the time, very accurate, very predictive, and uh, mm-hmm. very powerful. So so you can have a webinar, which is like a three, and a four, a three hour to four hour experience, mm-hmm. or you know, go through it individually, and really dig down into someone and hearing people, you know, asking them questions, what, does, this, does this resonate with you? Is this what you think you are? Whether they agree or disagree, it comes to some great discussion about it. That's interesting. It sounds, it sounds like, I mean, and, and again, um, I, I've had, you know, the experience of, of going through, you know, sort of like these team sessions uh, mm-hmm. so that people can understand like who, who are these people that you're working with and how best to relate and interact with them. And, and that can be very powerful. Um, but it, it, it almost sounds the way you describe this, um, that it, it's, it can be useful um, in, you know, in interpersonal relationships or personal relationships, even beyond yeah. the professional. Absolutely. Yeah. I like to say that the best lesson I ever learned from the color code was with my wife, right? My wife <laughs> is a, she is a primary blue, secondary yellow, right? So, um, yeah. and a blue really wants to be understood. And so I even, I know that with my, I'll do a little lesson right here. With my <laughs> wife, if I don't look like I understand her, right? Uh, mm-hmm. She becomes very frustrated. So I had to learn how to do this. <laughs> All right. That, 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 and that helped my marriage, that's right? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. It, I was like, if I look like, I, if I, if I look like this, she gets very frustrated. I mean, frustrated. Mm. She, she, is, she, gets, but like learning how to do this, Right. Well, those are those non-ver- non-verbal cues, right? Right, right, right. Yeah. And I go back to that every time. And and I think she knows I'm doing it, but it it, it makes her feel more comfortable. It has the effect. So, right, yeah, it yeah. has the effect. So, um, <laughs> and, I, and I've seen it work with uh, not just uh, personal relationships, boss and sub, uh, subordinates. Real quick, mm-hmm. um, I had a client come to me struggling with a new relationship with her, her boss. She was reporting to the CEO, taking a new job, and everything was going well. Well, mm-hmm. wasn't going well. She was f- frustrated communicating with them. So um, so we took her color code assessment. Then we guessed the assessment of her boss, right? So not to get too deep with it, but her boss was, she's a, she's a white blue, which is more analytical. 
and less emotional. Her boss is a blue red, which is, and you know, red is all about, um, you know, getting things done, being a driver, but blue is more about emotion. So make a long story short, we adjusted the way that she delivered to her boss, right? Hey, start with an agenda. That will make your boss, the red in your boss feel satisfied. You know, follow up with a, uh, we went over these three things, right? That will yeah. make your boss feel understood. Start off your meeting with your boss by asking some questions about the family or whatever. Some people need that personal connection where some people want to get right to it. We made that adjustment. She went from being a at-risk employee to someone that they were flying to France to, to be uh, to, to go through training uh, in the international offices. Uh, someone is being highly thought of and looked at for promotion. Just by that simple adjustment wow. of, their, uh, of their communication style. That's pretty powerful. Um, yeah. And uh, and kudos to you for being able to like zero in on that. Oh. Um, if that, yeah, that's uh, that if you know, if you didn't see the value of, of a coach like that right there, uh, that anecdote right there, that 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 says it. Absolutely. So um, you know, the, the big elephant in the room.